When I was in the third or fourth grade, someone taught me how to make these adorable salt dough mice. They were called lumpies at the time, and I've never forgotten how cute they were and how proud I was to give them to my parents for Christmas. They're easy to make and they're a time-honored classic, so let me show you how. For this project, you will need one cup of flour, half a cup of salt, half a cup of water, a bowl, a spoon, a baking tray, aluminum foil, pink and black acrylic paint, a paintbrush, Mod Podge, fingernail clippers, a toothpick, and a small bit of wire. And a red, white, and green pipe cleaner if you want to make the candy cane for the lumpy to hold. To make the salt dough, we'll mix together one cup of flour, half a cup of salt, and mix those together. And then add about a half a cup of water. You might need more or less depending on the humidity and other factors. So start with just a little less than a half a cup and see how your dough feels. It should be very soft, um, but not sticky. If you get it too wet, you can always add a little bit of flour. So I can tell that this is gonna be a little stiff, so I'm gonna add the rest of my half a cup of water. Stir it until it becomes a dough. When it gets to be too hard to stir, then um, take it out and knead it to get everything mixed together and to make it all smooth. I'm gonna take it out of the bowl and knead it on my table just to make sure everything is evenly mixed together. And like I said, it should be soft, but not um, sticky. You don't want it to be too dry. Okay, that feels good. To make the body of the mouse, use aluminum foil to form a short cone-shaped center. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect, but you want to have this in the middle of the dough so that it will dry out properly. If it's too thick, um, it'll be hard to dry all the way through. Then take a piece of your salt dough and make it about flatten it out to about a quarter of an inch. And you're going to put um, that foil in the middle and form the dough all around the cone. Want to smooth out any uh, major seams or lumps and bumps. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect though. It's part of the charm if it's not perfect. Form a point at the top of the cone where the mouse's nose is going to be. Roll a pea size piece of dough to make the nose. Put a little bit of water on the end of the cone to stick the nose into place more securely. Make the ears by taking a quarter size piece of dough about a quarter of an inch um, thick and form it into an ear. So make it into a disc and then form an indentation with your thumb to make the inside of that ear. Put a little bit of water on it to make sure that that's going to stick. Um, securely to the mouse body. And then do the same thing for the other side. Make each arm by rolling out a piece of dough, flatten it on one end, and then put a little bit of water on the mouse's body to make sure that that arm sticks on there well. Bend the paws out so that they're slightly away from the body. In the space between the paws, you're going to have your mouse holding something. You can make something out of dough for your mouse to hold, such as a present or a wreath. I'm gonna be making two candy canes for my mouse to hold. So I'm gonna clip one white pipe cleaner and one red pipe cleaner in half with my fingernail clippers. And then twist two halves together.
Once I've got them twisted together, I'm going to cut those in half with the fingernail clippers and form them both into a candy cane shape. Now I'm going to cut off about a third of the green pipe cleaner and use this piece to hold the candy canes together and form a little bow. We don't want to put the pipe cleaners in the oven because I'm not sure if they'll withstand the heat. Um, but we're going to place them in the mouse's arms just to get the arms positioned correctly so that we can glue those in place afterwards. So remove those but leave um, the paws in place and we'll add the candy cane after it's baked. You want to make some eyes by just using a toothpick um, to poke tiny little eyes between the ears and the nose. Then to make the whiskers, you can use the fingernail clippers again to cut six short pieces of wire. Then poke in three whiskers on each side of the nose. Place the lumpy on an oven-proof uh, baking sheet and bake it at 250 degrees for two to three hours. You want to keep it at this very low temperature um, because if you turn it higher, the lumpy will um, rise and become distorted. You can also leave it out um, in a sunny spot or a warm area and it will dry out, but this will take two to three days, so I recommend the baking method. You can store any extra dough in a airtight bag in the refrigerator and it'll be good for a week or two. Once the lumpy is completely baked, dried, and completely cooled off, it's time to add a little paint. So I'm just going to do the inside of the ears here, a little bit of pink. The trick with painting your lumpy is just a few details here and there um, is enough. It looks better if you leave most of it just its natural color. Use a little bit of black paint on the end of a toothpick to get some black in the eyes that we made earlier, just to give them a little bit of depth and emphasis. Then I'm going to paint the nose black. Once the paint is completely dry, you want to cover your lumpy with Mod Podge or another sealant. This is a really important step. If you don't do this, it will absorb moisture and it will not last over time. Don't worry if the Mod Podge looks um, white, it will dry clear. After you have it all over the lumpy, be sure and get the bottom um, as well when it's dry. At this point, I'm going to use some Mod Podge to stick on the pipe cleaner candy canes that I made earlier. Depending on the weight of the object you're using, it might be a good idea to use a thick craft glue, um, but I think for these lightweight pipe cleaners, it will work just fine. All right, now you just need to let your lumpy completely dry and it's ready to go. Please subscribe to my channel for more holiday and other craft ideas. There's new videos every week, so you don't want to miss an episode.